Hi everyone, this is a video about this Sony Walkman that is nearly in mint condition but unfortunately there are some problems that I'm going to walk you through all of that and then we are going to see how good this one is. This one sadly is suffering from capacitors problem and I'm going to demonstrate that for you what is happening when the capacitors electrolytic capacitors in there aluminium electrolytic capacitors they are going off but this one we are lucky that they haven't leaked yet but still uh, we have to change them and I show you how many are, are, are uh, in there. Anyway, the model number of this is WM-190. And this one uh, takes one uh, gumstick battery or you can uh, have it with external battery compartment that is going to uh, screw in here and then you can extend the life of that gum stick a little bit further. So these are the controls that we have. Dolby NR, on off, tape, uh, normal and metal or chrome. And then on this side, we have the uh, sound system, uh, sound processor, normal, mid, max and the battery indicator and the volume and then uh, this is the eject button and I have to tell you this item is in near mint condition apart from those you know uh, capacitors and some spots like so that I tried my best to get rid of them but I can't two times base expansion circuit that is very good and then on this side nothing nothing here and this is and as you see here there are some you know chrome effect of this plastic bit has gone but still is in good condition and on the top, we have the eject button, open, play, stop, rewind, forward, and then direction, and then selection, uh, switch selector of uh, connection, and then the battery compartment. You can see this is in mint condition. The battery compartment is good all the way inside i show you anyway and that's really it uh, i just get a battery sorry i just get a battery and i come back so we have two batteries here one is sony and one is generic uh, that you can buy on ebay but this one you cannot get it anywhere so both of them are working, but this one is uh, freshly charged. So I put that in there and see how it goes. Negative first, and then that's it. So now I have changed the belt. Everything is working, but unfortunately, uh, as you see, everything is working. But because the uh, capacitors, there are no sounds are coming out of this. And all that you can hear is uh, uh, distortion. So that's very sad because I really like this model. But my advice to you is if you go to search for Walkmans, if you can see that uh, the model numbers starts with WM-190, 
some numbers, don't go for them because most of them, they have electrolytic capacitors and most of them, uh, unfortunately, they suffer from leakage and the age. And I don't advise you, if you are not a connoisseur, to change the capacitors and electronics. So I don't advise you to do that, uh, to purchase these. Because first of all, the capacitors, they are very hard to come by. And second of all, changing the capacitors needs special skills in soldering that not um, especially, you know, uh, surface mount soldering that is really difficult to do. So I do not advise you to do that. So anyway, so the way to open this, there are two uh, screws here, one here, nothing in here and one in here. So, and then the top is going to come off. Let me just first put a tape in there and then demonstrate to you uh, what is going to happen to the, if the capacitors are off. So we put this in the headphone and then uh, lower the volume and then a little bit and now play. Okay, let me just... As you see, there are many uh, problems with this. I, I, I have no idea why it's doing this, because when I was checking it, it was good enough. Oh, yeah. Now it's doing it, it's just playing and the volume. Can you hear this? This is all because of the capacitors. Can you hear that? And the volume is to the maximum. is all because of the capacitors. Volume is to the maximum. And is nothing to do with the volume. Volume is cleaned. And as you see, everything is working. Forward, rewind, everything is working. And it's so sad to see this one. It's just doing all of this. And I just changed the drive belt for you to see that is uh, working. And the drive belt, believe me, is about 14 pounds. And there is one uh, provider here in London that I get all of my uh, drive belts from that is very reliable and fully recommend this uh, uh, provider. Anyway, you can find it on eBay, and if you are interested, let me know. I show you who that provider is. Anyhow, the inside is like this. When you open the back up, when you open the back, you see this. You just desolder these two from the battery compartment, and then you come across this. And these are all the electrolytic capacitors. This, 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 this. Let me just maximize this for you, just to show you. 
2 volts is very hard to come by okay 4 volts maybe but 2 volts is very hard to come by another 2 volts here uh, oh sorry 6 volts another one here there 4 volts is okay another 4 volts and this one 35 volts 2.2 and one in here and then some down here very hard to come by let me count all of them okay let me just see oops okay in total one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve twelve capacitors you have to change in order to make this to work anyway for me it's too sad to see this one in needs of all of these and then there is another image that is a little bit better and this is the motor and I have to tell you it it has a very strange way of you know the belt uh, installation so these are all the capacitors you can see them electrolytic one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and 12 where is the 12 ones anyway 11 12 something like that and then this is another image uh, when i uh, desolder these two and lift the board back up and that is the motor is going there let me see if i have a an image of how is going to install the uh, belt It's very complex, very complex. Anyway, that's really it. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this video. And uh, by all means, if you find one of these working, go and purchase them. Uh, but not for the extortionate prices. Um, the price of this not working in this condition is about something like 59 pounds up to uh, some people some crazy people they are selling this for 95 or 120 pounds not working that is funny really because uh, you have to open this you have to change the belt you have to change all the capacitors and the time that you put in there only the uh, true connoisseurs and uh, workman collectors, maybe they would do that. In this condition, just, just the unit itself, without any headphones, without any battery pack that you connect to here, and uh, without anything, just this. And some of these, uh, they leave the battery inside and the battery leaks and it is even uh, in the worst condition that you can find them but this is in really um, near mint condition but unfortunately the capacitors they are letting this one down anyway I have only changed the belt for you guys to see if the capacitors are not working, how is going to affect the beautiful Walkman like this? Anyhow, I told you about the price. I told you about the uh, uh, pros and cons of this and how to open this. Oh, I forgot this uh, screw at the back. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. And until my next video, Please take care of yourself and each other and as always have a great time.